How are you guys? I haven't been on live in a while because I've been trying some other new things that you've probably seen. Um, I love doing live videos. They're so fun. They light me up and it's awesome. And now I'm going to jump on today and share something with you guys that's really cool and really fun to do. So when you can ask yourself what you wanted to be when you were little, you can discover a lot about not only your inner child, but how much you've grown and how much you've changed and how much you've really evolved and learned. Hey, everyone jumping on live with me. Say hi. Let's chat. This is going to be a fun one. I want to know what you wanted to be when you grew up. So comment it below and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about some stuff that happened when I was a kid and some discoveries that I made, you know, now as I look back on it. Hey, Mel. Hey, Brad. So when I was younger, I really wanted to be an actor or a model, and I wanted to be an artist, and I was just really into, and, and I wanted to be a writer, so, like, I would say those are, like, the top things that I wanted to be, so, like, a writer, an actress, or a model, and, um, uh, an artist. So what's really cool is I remember when I was little, oh, and I really wanted to be an interior designer for pretty much most of my life. Like that was the biggest thing for me. Um, but that wasn't as much like when I was young, that was more so like, well, I guess eight years old and up. And I actually started my own business, which was really funny. Um, when I was eight, I started my own interior design business called Design by Celeste, and I basically like organized my house and got paid by my parents, and that was really cool and fun. Um, and then this is why I bring this up. So like when I was younger, I remember I I would uh, train or not train, I guess you could say I would learn at a um, acting and modeling school, John Robert Powers, and. Um, it was really cool, and then I would go on these auditions and these fun things, and then I remember one audition. This is where things get really kind of cool. Um, I went on this one audition, and they ba it was basically like... It was basically for a show that was just going to be like that old show, um, Kids Say the Darndest Things. Um, and it was going to be a show just like that. They were going to come out with a new one. And I remember going on this audition... And they had me on the camera, and they were asking me all these questions. That's really all it was, was just be yourself and answer the questions. And that was my most fun interview ever. And I remember one question that will always stick with me now. I don't remember what my answer was, but one question they asked me was like, what would you do if your husband or your boyfriend was extremely overweight? And I remember like being asked that question and having some ridiculous answer. Obviously, it was a kid. Um... And then, you know, as a kid, I really wanted to be an artist as well. And, I mean, you guys have seen some of my artwork. Like, I love art. It's so awesome. I love looking at art. I love creating art. But, you know, as I've gotten into fitness and, you know, as I've really pursued my passion in building more than just a body, I've kind of, you know, I haven't been as into art lately. Like, I don't, like, make a ton of time for it like I used to. But I wanted to be an artist as a kid. And I also really wanted to, and for those of you watching or jumping on, comment below what you wanted to be when you were a kid. I'm really curious. Um, and then I really wanted to be a writer. <laughs> and I would write these little short stories and picture books, and I would, like, write poems all the time, and I would just write. And the cool thing is, is now I am an author, and I love creating art through, you know, my content creation that I do, my videos or my um, photos that I post or the pictures that I take for my brand, things like that. And acting and modeling, I mean, not a ton of that. Modeling, yeah, more so. That's kind of like, more so like fitness, but like through bikini and whatnot. But it's just amazing when you look back. And the reason I'm sharing this is because I kind of... Like I said, I wanted to just try some new things with the videos that I put out for you guys and give a lot of value, but I also wanted to have some fun with you guys and just start doing, like, on Thursdays, just sharing little pieces of me and my life and, you know, my past or just stories that I have or little discoveries that I've recently made because I think that it could be really fun and I want to connect with you guys on a personal level. Like, really, um, I would love to get to know you guys more, too. So that's why I'm creating this video. And you guys saw, you know, I'm doing, like, Mindful Mondays or, like, Mindset Mondays. And um, I'm doing, like, Wellbeing slash, um, like, Wellness Wednesdays. And Thursdays, this is me. Thursdays, Fridays is going to be 
um, Fit Fridays, and then I'm going to have a self-love Sunday or Saturday. So I'm just really wanting to create a bunch of content for you guys that's going to help you and move you forward in your journey, but I also, like I said, want to have some fun with it too with you guys and like connect with you guys. Um, yeah, being a pro athlete, Dylan commented and said he was... Th- he loved the idea of being a pro basketball player. That was something that I thought I was going to do is be a pro athlete too. Like as a kid, we're dreamers, you know, and it's important to continue to dream throughout our life. You know, asking yourself every day, is this what I want to do? Asking yourself every day, am I doing what fulfills me? Asking yourself every day, you know, connect with your inner child daily. You know, imagine she's, she or he is sitting in front of you and ask them what you should do. Not necessarily like what's your career, but like what should you do? Like what's a good action step for you? And that can give you a lot of clarity in your life. And yeah, it's, it's really important. I remember I thought I was going to be the next Mia Ham, and I'd get all my soccer jerseys to be number nine to match hers. And I was like so committed to it. And then I remember I found volleyball and I was like, oh, I love volleyball. And I had to quit soccer because I couldn't play um, both soccer and volleyball in club. So I was like, I choose club volleyball. And that was a really um, good decision for me. I fell in love with volleyball. Even, you know, I was going to play in college, but I gave that up. And that's for another video. So comment below what you wanted to be as a kid. I'd love to connect with you guys more. Like I said, I'm kind of switching things up. As you know, I was doing daily videos every single day, daily live videos, which I love. And, you know, I might go back to that, but I'm kind of just testing the waters right now and seeing what it is that you guys really love and enjoy because my mission on this earth is to serve you and give you a lot of value and help you move forward in your life and truly start building more than just a body. So comment below what you wanted to be as a kid and kind of take it a step further than that and ask yourself, you know, where does that connect to my life now? How does that connect to my life now? How can I use that? in my life now and let me know what you discover all right so with that being said I hope you guys have an amazing day night or morning wherever you are in the world just make it awesome